Good late afternoon and very early. Actually, moving it on in the early evening now. On overcast sky, puffy cumulus nimbus clouds. Uh, once again, with the destabilizing air as I break up some mutta and some hashisha into my bowl. And uh, the lower atmosphere is destabilized nicely again with a 70 degree dew point. Uh, and a temperature around 90. And as the atmosphere became well mixed, uh, as the layers got saturated, as the sunshine in the strong early summer, mid June sun, mixed the atmosphere up, broke that cap up aloft, that warm air aloft got mixed, and we had some isolated scattered showers and thunderstorms. None of them hit the greater Bloomington metropolitan area, but. We did get some much needed cloud cover for time to time for very brief periods. But look at what I found for you. This is Fiscal and Monetary Policy Friday, fellas. So if you don't understand why there's so much of this shit coming on with the Consumer Price Index, well, it's because I'm just starting to play around with it. And it's uh, Monetary and Fiscal Policy Friday, and this shit matters to you. And this is going to more illustrate what inflation does. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff right now. Um... So, you can see the price of chicken. Chicken fresh whole per pound. Average price in U.S. dollars, right? Over the last 12 months. Over the last uh, 20 years. Since May 2001, just after President Clinton left because uh, he was compromised. Because he was cheating on his wife in the Oval Office. And he got impeached. And uh, the tech bubble was just about to burst. And as soon as he stopped out of office and George Bush got in the office, the tech bubble popped and you had a financial collapse. And uh, 21 years later, we're, no bet we're way worse off than we were then. And you can see back then, right after that, and that's what those little gray lines are. That's recessions, right? We had that great, we had a recession in 2001. Then we had the great financial collapse and great recession in 2007, 8, 9. And then the Fed went into overdrive and where we are now but look uh fresh hole per pound and this is with the rigged cpi numbers and look at this it's a dollar five right and with a rigged cpi now it's a dollar 49 a pound for fresh whole chicken the chicken's the same uh the only difference is is your dollar loss value from 2001 to 2021 and in terms of chicken your dollars lost uh, it's at a dollar forty nine current price. December, February. Come on, get to the fucking end. May a dollar forty nine, and at the very beginning, it was a dollar ten. So in terms of dollars per chicken, uh, off my basic math, right? You've lost thirty nine cents of purchasing power in twenty years on chicken. So if you had the chicken back in the day making new chickens, right? Uh, or if you just grew your own chickens, you would have saved that because in terms of chickens, the chickens are winning uh, in purchasing power because it's costing you, your, your dollar, your, the value of your dollar in 20 years, you've lost 39 cents per pound on chicken, right? That's crazy. Not because the chicken got better, the chicken's different. It's the same chicken that you bought 30, 20 years ago, but your dollar's lost 39 cents in purchasing power when weighted in chicken, right? Let's look at eggs. Eggs pumped in 15. Now they're saying it's low, but back in the day, it was, I remember those days, 88 cents in 2001 for grade A large eggs per dozen. Now, if you are looking at, we already know your dollars lost 38, 39 cents per chicken, per pound in chicken, right? So it's losing the chicken war. In eggs, you've lost even more. So you're at $1.58. Minus 88, by my basic math, it's 58 cents plus 12. That's 68 plus 2. That would be you've lost 70 cents in eggs. So your dollar is losing the inflation war to eggs. Those eggs are the same grade A eggs you got back back 20 years ago, which I remember buying those eggs for that price. And now they are $1.58 because of inflation. Because Joe Biden now, the communist president, is printing money in the Federal Reserve, is monetizing it just as quick as the government 
ask for it and uh, demands it and creates it, right? And they have the Federal Reserve create it and they monetize it. And that's why your eggs now, you've lost uh, 80 cents uh, per pound in grade A eggs and purchasing power in 20 years. You see that? Imagine where you're going to be in 20 more years. You're going to lose another, you're going to lose, you're going to lose another, it'll be $3 in, it'll be $10 in 20 years, right? Because it accelerates once it starts going. Start slow and then what's, what's another good one? Oranges, tomatoes, electricity per kilowatt. It's been about, now you've, you've lost a dollar ten per whole lab. No, it's chicken. We got to get rid of chicken. Got there, chicken. Got there, eggs. So we were at 10 cents per kilowatt. Now we're at 14. So we've lost four cents in purchasing power, right? This is very powerful tools to use. Gasoline. Gasoline unlettered per gallon. And again, where they're getting these numbers, uh, $3. Yeah, that's right. So look at that. I remember those days, $1.14. And that was pie back in the day because it used to be, I remember, 85 cents and shit. I remember everyone was pissed about $1.26. But it was $1.26. And now it's three dollar two dollars and ninety seven cents and rising, and it's going to surpass the Great Recession four dollar average. So you're losing. The oil is the same, the gas is the same. That hasn't changed. The barrel and the shippers and all that's all that's changed, except uh, the inflation that's been created and the expansion of the world's money supply. And in our country, the U.S. money supply, your dollar is losing value every year. Therefore, oil continually rises right? Decade over decade and will continue to and continue accelerating, right? So you guys kind of see that. Uh, we're going to get here. I'll do a coin review for you because I know you guys want that. I'll tell you at the beginning um, that I'll do coins mixed into this and I'm not lying to you. See, Vincenzo is not lying for you. Oh, Vincenzo has got something special for you. Where are we at? Uh, region by region, we cares or we do care. Oh, Vincenzo cares. We'll get back to that. 12 months, consumer price index, selected categories. We already did gasoline. Uh, there was one more. Relative. Yeah, this one. Is this the one I wanted? Go. Go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at this. Check it out. Look at that. I love the bubble chart. And uh, I think they stole it from Charles Schwab. Oh, that's right. I seen the bubble chart first. Oh, yeah. That's just so good. You know what I mean? A little bit of multa and hashisha, right? To soothe the soul and open the mind, uh, get you educated on the stock market like we just deciphered and detected and sniffed out the criminal gangster cartel and sidestepped and audible them because I seen the, the blitzer from the blind side that was disguising himself. Yes, that's my coverage. So I acted like he was fooling me and I pulled the rug out from under him, right? Because that's what Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing does. And Jim Harwell, if you're out there, my Michigan fans or my Ohio State fans or any other fans, football uh, across, the, across the country and the world of college football, uh, get the message out to Jim Harbaugh and the Michigan Nation. And uh, I will help Jim Harbaugh take down them scumbags from Ohio with that little fat man that goes to all the home games in his stupid little paint with his hairless nuts around his neck. And it looks like uh, uh, with his sweat and his little fat rolls underneath jiggling up and down in his bald head and all the sweat dripping down his eyes over the hairless nuts around his neck. It looks like a little cum all over his neck and jizz from the hairless nut. So Jim Harbaugh, subscribe to my channel and I will help you take down the criminal gangsters. Yes, the Ohio State University, brother, for the first time in five billion years, it seems like. Back on the more important things. You see, bam, commodity minus food and energy. See that? It's saying it was up one and a half percent over the past month. And over the last uh, year, six and a half percent, right? Uh, energy commodities. Uh, where'd you go, buddy? Get back here. Energy service. That's over there. That's just energy. It's saying energy. Get back up here. It's harder on the phone. Oh, uh, over the month percent change that means uh last month to this month or over the month percent change i'd probably be last year 
in uh, this whatever month we're in that we're looking at to this year is 1.2%. And over the, over the year percent change, no, that's over the month percent changes month over month. So it's 1.2% higher. And over the year percent change, 6.2%, right? That's extensive energy uh, uh, price inflation. You see what I'm saying? Now let's go to commodities. Oh, that's oil. Look at commodities. Look at this shit. He's way up there. Way up here. Over, month over month, 4%. Over the year, percent change, 54%. The commodities have exploded. Oil, wheat, corn, all that shit. Gold, silver, copper, you know? And it's going to continue to explode, and there's nothing the government can do about it. And the sooner you guys prepare yourself, the better. That's what I'm trying to teach you here with the consumer price index so you have some financial education because if you get financial education you will have the tools and the tool belt and the knowledge to make informed decisions on what money is what affects money and what the rich job people are doing because that's what vengeance gold crypto investing is all about what are the rich motherfuckers doing right what else do we got here food away from home sure it's some really low fucking number uh which one's that no food bitch what is it so high we can't find the motherfucker i don't know where it's at who cares but you see what i'm see see how this shit's skyrocketing right it's just gonna get worse see if we can find anything else fun to play with while we're on here go to now we already looked at this shit so we need to go back here the back down Producer Employment Cost Index, U.S. Import Price. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking. Import. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We need imports. I wish you would give me the fucking chart on this shit. Oh, yeah. The PDF's the way to go. Fuck, yeah. And this is all like, tax dollars at work. This, see, this is shit I agree with that the tax dollars get used for. Oh, my goodness. Uh, does anybody see problem here? Anybody? Anybody see problem, y'all? See that? U.S. Import and Export Price Index. So, duh. We would want our imports because we import everything because we don't produce anything, right? In America, we get everything off boat. See, last year uh, when everything crashed and they shut it down, everything tanked. And everyone's like, oh, my God, we're going to have massive deflation. And we're going to have a huge problem. Uh, no, Vincenzo said we're going to have massive inflation. That was just a uh, shock to the system when nobody was leaving their house because they were so scared and heard of like sheep, right? And communist countries took down. Now, look, we started at minus 6.8 and uh, now we're at 10.6. Yes, we have to recover from that. You know, and then we got one month percent change. And you see we had 1.0, 1 1 1.5, 1.2, 1.4, 0.07. So it's going down a little bit, but it's 10.6% uh, higher um, than it was last year, right? That's a big problem. That means, our, that means the products that we buy, which is everything from the store, comes on a sea container, is going to go up. Bah. That's why those prices are going up, right? Yeah, they're going to bring the pandemic. Import and export price index data, the Bureau of... Labor statistics did not make changes to either the collection method or estimate methodology for the April 2021 release of U.S. Import and Export Price Index survey response rate for April 2021, 2.3% 2 2 percentage points lower than those in April 2020. Additional information is available. Imports. Imports, prices excluding fuel, and you say, Vincenzo, why do they exclude fuel? Because this would be much higher, probably five times higher, and it would make uh, our economy look worse it won't, because it would be telling more of the truth. Because they give you the government statistics, like I say, the CPI is manipulated. That's part of how they manipulate it right now. They take the fuel cost out. But it's still three quarters of a point higher in April following a 0.9% uh, advance the previous month. So you had a 0.7% uh, increase this month uh, preceding or following 0.9%. So 
So by buying basic math again, 0.9 plus 0.7 is da with my multa. That da says it's a one da. Point da. Da. Six percent higher in two months. Um, that's a big problem. If you extrapolate that out for another, I don't know, 10 months to make a year, you're talking seven, eight, nine, ten percent higher import cost. Price for non fuel imports. Oh, we need to read all this. Uh, 0.7, 0.9% advanced the previous month. Higher prices for non fuel industrial supplies and materials, food, feeds for the farms and beverage, capital goods, and automotive vehicles. As we all know, uh, used car prices are at uh, all time highs because my truck that I bought three years ago is only uh, the last time I checked $2,000 less than I paid for it three years ago. And I put on nearly 50,000 miles more. And they're pretty much willing to give me exactly what I paid for it. That is uh, preposterous, right? Um, and that's what happens when you massively inflate the currency, right? Your fake currency, your junk that we all carry around. The price index for import petroleum rose 1.2%. Wait, uh, I skipped something. Oh, fuel imports. Prices for import fuel rose 0.5% in April after increasing 7.5% in March, 11% in February, and 9% in January. In April, increasing petroleum price more than offset, decreasing uh, natural gas prices that they manipulate down around the world, especially in the U.S., because they want us off coal and oil. But if they give us natural gas that is very expensive, that it should be, we would uh, object to that. So they suppress the price take over the market, uh, put a lot of people out of business and uh, keep the price down temporarily until it explodes when all of our other resources that we used to use are been phased out and we're stuck on wind, solar, and natural gas. Uh, the price index for import petroleum rose 1.2% in April, followed by an 8.4% an increase the previous month. Price for import natural gas declined 12.1% in April after a 48 drop in March. The April decrease was largest decline since the index fell 14.7% in October 2020. Blah, 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 blah. That's all bad because that's going to cost more for our goods because we don't produce anything. And it all comes there. It all comes on a ship, right? It's all bad. It's just all bad. And it's just going to get worse with Joe Biden. And that's why I'm just happy that a socialist, an open socialist and a communist is in office. And this whole fucking shit caboodle is going to come unravel under him, you know? But that's it for this uh, uh, little fiscal yes, and monetary policy episode. I hope you got some education. Uh, share it so we can get our knowledge out to more people. And that means more people will be educated a little bit more each day about money, what it is, how you can make it work for you, and what to look out for. Peace and love. Peace and love.